So in this video, we're going to be going through one of the first add-ons I ever purchased, and that is KidOps. I've completely forgotten about KidOps, and I am like, hmm, falling in love again. <laughs> So here we've got the default cube. I've already installed KidOps. There's plenty of videos on that. I'm going to press N to bring up the side panel. Control F, hard surface. That's a clean panels add-on because I've got a stupid amount of add-ons. Click on KidOps, and this is our KidOp love. Okay. So from the drop down, I can select a whole bunch of cutters. Now I got a whole bunch of extra cutters. I'll explain that in a sec. But let's pick something at random. Mm, complex cutter here. I'm going to have my box selected or whatever I'm cutting into. I'm going to press add insert and I'm going to plop that in there. Bam. We have now cut into this object. Now, if I go into kind of uh, rendered mode, we're in EV at the moment. Let's go over to cycles because I prefer cycles, GPU, sweet 32. And you can just see how gorgeous these cuts are. So I've got a pretty big library at the moment and I'm constantly growing it. Um, one person obviously this I've got it from Everex uh, blender market sales still going so go check it out if not sign up to Chip Walters patreon so he's the creator of KidOps, and for like a buck you've got a whole bunch of packs that you can download and that's kind of like where I'm grabbing quite a bit of my jazz so chip <laughs> So if you kind of explore the cutters a little bit more, I can select, um, these are the Everex ones. Let me click on that, make sure it's selected. Add insert, we'll place that about there. That's oh, more of a decal, that one. Cool. Because I selected decals. Smart. Let's go into cylinders. Um, I'm going to pick this one. These look like they're going to sit above. Yep. So that one's not actually cutting. That's more of kind of like the asset library where we can dump things on. Um, let's pick on S other. What's S other? Ooh, control panels. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go on this one. I don't think I selected the right thing. Nope, I did. And so now you can see just how quickly we can just add a whole bunch of jazz to the default cube without doing much work. Um, I'll probably do future tutorials where I work on a whole control panel and we can just throw, just throw stuff at it. And wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. We're going to be building that up pretty quick. However, the question I hear you asking is, how do we create our own cutters? Don't you worry, sunshine. Let's go file new general. Don't save. Well, actually, let's now go ahead and save this super quick. Because if you don't save it, let's press end, bring up the side panel, alt F4. Let me clean that up. Clean, pan clean panels add on. Kit ops. Okay. From here, we can go ahead and now start creating our inserts. Now, these options are going to be grayed out if we don't save it. So that's just a kind of like a reminder. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go create insert with our object selected. And you can see that it's opened up a brand new scene. Remember that. Uh, from here, what I'm going to do is I want this piece here to be my cutter. So over here, it's going to be my main object. Every cutter needs a main object. So I'm going to make it a cutter difference and now you can see that it's made a hole which is what a cutter does but obviously what we can do is if i don't like that if i want to go control b let's go let's select these two edge loops control b i'm going to grab this center piece down in here no wireframe come on baby there we go gz and now you can see this is what our cutter looks like but let's go ahead with kind of let's just add a little bit more to it. So shift A, I'm going to add in a cylinder. Let's just quickly create something and we'll scale that on the Y. G, G to the Z, there we go. And shift D, let's go X, shift D, X. So this is going to be our cutter. However, we still need to parent the objects. So I've got these three pieces which are solids. I'm going to shift left click on our main object, control P to parent, parent to object. Now, if your objects go a little bit haywire and they're sitting in random spots, down here in the make parent, make sure we click keep transformation and that'll put it back to where the objects were sitting. It's just because my origin point is in um, the origin for all the pieces. But if I were to go, let's go add a cube, rotate, rotate, and I'm just going to dump that one in there. And then when we select our cutter, control P object, 
standing position. Anyway, <laughs> if it does go everywhere, go into that keep transformation. Now from here, what we can do as well is obviously we can apply materials. Uh, so for instance, on these pieces here, I want them to be metal. So I'm just going to quickly go shade smooth on those guys. New material, let's go into metallic, increase the metallic, down the specularity, down the roughness. Uh, wham bam, thank you ma'am. What we can do from here is I can now camera to insert, insert and press numpad. And now we're kind of like in rendered, rendered view. Good job, Marco. Uh, let's give this a name, a name, a name. Uh, let's go pipeage two. And we'll go save insert. We got to save it now in the Kipax folder. Now that's all part of the installation. Um, just go back and watch some of those videos. Let's go into here, pipeage two, save insert. From here, I can now go render thumbnail. Sick. I'm going to open up a brand new Bland file. That was uh, something I was testing in, which is awesome. Good job, Marco. Probably should have prepared this, but uh, well done. It's okay. Let's go into full screen. Let's press N to bring up our side panel. Control F, hard ops, kid ops. Not, yep. And then from here down into M3D pipes. Please be here. There we go. There's our piece that we set. Item is selected, add insert. And there we go. We now have our piece that we've just created. Let's just go 32. I'm just going to go into render view. And this should have our materials as well attached to it. So there we go. Like a super brief overview of KidOps. Like and subscribe. Um, blender sale, market sale. Link in the description. Go quick. You got like six hours. I don't know. If you're watching it from the future. Subscribe and I'll let you know when there's a blender market sale. Um, what's a skeleton's favorite snack? Ribs? <laughs>